Yo, Buzz, what's goody? It's all good to see you. Mustafa, it's good to see you, bro. We have an editing session today. It's a chaotic room. Did you figure it out? Okay. Hmm? You guys get a chance to just see Alice's little section today. Since I'm over here editing and Alan's left me. Okay, yeah, we got a long editing session. Good luck, it's good, bro. Oh, we're not playing today. Um, crazy as it is, we are we're debating whether or not we're gonna keep playing Fortnite because uh, um. With the new update that Fortnite has right now, it is very frustrating. The, it seems very dumb. So there's a strong chance we're gonna be start playing different games uh, because Fortnite's playing games right now. Stay high, the hottest guy, crazy. Get up till I started. Don't get up till I started, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I currently have. 26 videos to edit for the YouTube channel that I'm currently editing and then I have two great collaboration videos I gotta edit. I already shot them but I gotta edit them so it's gonna be it's one of those days guys. Um, yeah, do I have a projector in the room? We used to have a projector in the room but now we only have we have a 70 inch TV right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's over there. And then my step is right here, um, and Alan still lives on the side whenever he comes and visits. Um, software I use. I edit off of uh, Final Cut Pro. I am a Final Cut Pro guy. So this entire right side is controlled by a different computer, and then my section over here is controlled by my iMac. Alexa next. Which screen do I use for Fortnite? So this is a uh, this is an LG um, thirty, I think it's like thirty inches, but one hundred forty four hertz. So when I'm when you guys see me gaming, <laughs> when you guys see me gaming. Um, I'm gaming off of this screen because my camera's right here. And then I have my PCs mounted on my desk, under my desk. And then my entire live stream starts from this side. But I'm gaming over here, so I can be here, kind of like right here. And it takes a really long time when you post the videos. The ABC Bunker. This is the ABC Studio, yo. The ABC Studio. We are here working. Um, Mustafa, yes. Yeah, so, editing takes a long time, uh, mainly because I have a lot of them that I have to do at once. Um, just so that we can be able to do stuff the next day. Because you gotta remember, we have the Patreon we create content for, our YouTube channel that we create content for, and then you've got the Alan's Instagram, my Instagram, my TikTok account, and then Alan's TikTok account. And then, um, and then on top of that, we've got watch parties that we're doing for like the Patreon. So then it's like, some days we're just having a, a movie day. So it's like, we're not even recording. We're not even, there's no editing. It's just watching movies with the Patreon.
the good thing is, oh, you are GV L in the color effect. And we have a, something around here somewhere. Um, but this is just the studio is still in this skeleton form. It's still a skeleton studio, so it's like we're editing every now and then. Um, I think at the end of this month, the studio chair for like the podcast are coming in, so <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. And then we're getting two new microphones um, because this microphone and then the other mic then before the podcast, and then I need one here and one there. <laughs> is how I decide the room. So, Georgie, so with this room, it essentially has to be able to run a two, two uh, streaming software section plus a podcast section all in the entire room. So, on this wall, right here, yo, Adrian, appreciate you, bro. So, okay, so on this wall, so we've already painted the entire studio. This big wall right here, that's where it houses the gaming and streaming setup. So we have my section here. We're gonna have a uh, thing in the middle for like uh, the like the coffee bar and like the mini fridge. And then Alan's section is over here because Alan's never here. Alan only comes every other week. So when he's not here, we we're gonna build his stuff to where he can just show up and just go. And then in the middle, we have the two podcast just coming in, so we can start shooting content in the middle. So when you gotta see us like record content for like the channel, like know what I'm doing, I'm editing now. We're in the middle, and then we have a 70 inch TV right here that we watched. What if we're watching one right here? The goal today is I'm trying to get as much of my editing uh, done that way I can actually go get a, a, a potential like late leg day session tonight. It might end up being like a 12 a, 12 a.m. session, but we'll see. soccer uh i play soccer um they, i'm i'm not even trying to be funny like i'm pretty sure if you walk into the living room you'll most likely find like two random soccer balls in the living room because i've been juggling them there every time i get a chance um let me see um we haven't watched soccer in a minute i will watch like the world cup i'm a big brazil fan if brazil's playing best believe that you're gonna catch me play you're gonna catch me watching it's just because the clues get big bro listen we are here putting it at work okay we're making the games we don't miss leg days like this, don't get messed up here. Uh, let's see. Oh. One video complete. watching of the games. Who's playing? Who's playing in the U A U E F A? Which one's playing? Yeah, if I'm going to the gym today, guys, I'm I'm definitely gonna, I, I'm I'm gonna stream. I'll bring my mic for my for my iPhone in there. We'll have a good chat. So last week was my first week going back into the gym after practically almost a year of no training whatsoever, just eating. Um, I'm 204 pounds now. Let's go. Your boy out here working. Um, but this, today will be essentially my first leg day where it's like focusing on the leg day. Uh, and so it's gonna be, uh, I'm looking forward to that training session. When I was talking about Yo, it's just, so the good thing is I was blessed enough to, I grew up in a house that was built out of concrete, so it's pretty solid, so um, we could literally play soccer in the front with no barriers. Uh, we have a hallway that's probably the size of like, from this wall to like, 
probably a little bit wider than this, and we could play soccer, you know, me and my cousins and my friends, with no issues. We we'll play small goals in there. My guy goes out and plugs your little TVs. It's never good. It's never good. Mustafa's out of control. Real Madrid, Barcelona, PSG. That's a solid. That is a solid cup. Uh, I'm, I've only been a fan of Real Madrid whenever um, Ronaldo was Ronaldo and uh, Ronaldo went there. Barcelona, whenever Ronaldo was there. Yeah, it's been a minute since I've watched club soccer. Yeah. I hear you, I hear you, I see you. I see you, Mustafa. My guy gets Messi. Who's better, Messi or Ronaldo? Oh, I'm going with Ronaldo every single time, friend. What you mean? Cristiano Ronaldo. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know what's going on. Uh, potential train, leg day, with string. <laughs> Good luck with that.
Adrian, do sit breath, always my guy. Let everybody, who she got something by? Adrian, you have a beautiful day, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Leo Mustafa.
excuse me, one. Angry Dawn. You should be at rap made in your life. We do. That's how I know you're new to the channel if you didn't know this. You gotta know this. Shady, what's up, buddy? More one Pablo. Big drop. I think somebody said that yesterday in the live stream. Shady, Marwan has no subtitles in this video, man. I don't know how you miss it. I we have a lot of uh, we, we we do check out a lot of like Middle Eastern um content. <clears throat> the the so for us the big thing is this: if the country that you guys are asking us to check out. Um, like if they do music, like let's say they do rap, it makes no sense for us to go check them out if they have no English subtitles, because we can't really fully appreciate the art besides just going, what I, that sounded good. Like I'm trying to understand what the artist is actually speaking about that we can elaborate on our thought process whenever we're listening to it. So if you guys are recommending us to check out different artists that is from countries that don't speak English, they need to have subtitles that way we can feel like okay we're doing them an actual service by giving our audience an idea of like oh damn you guys didn't know about this person 
versus just us giving them uh, content and there's nothing for us to dissect because we don't understand nothing, if that makes sense. Like I think um, Wiggs uh, does a great job as far as adding English subtitles in his tracks, especially when he knows he's speaking in Arabic so he can actually break it down or any of the stuff. So it makes more sense versus us just going, I think that's what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Shady, I just went on uh, Marlon Pablo's website on YouTube uh, and looked at the video he just dropped. Um, they have to, He has no English subtitles. He has no subs in that actual video. So again, that's a, that's a moment where like we love Marlon Pablo, but like we have nothing. You see what I'm saying? So, with okay. So one thing that me, me and Anna have mentioned in the past, and uh, one day someone's gonna do it, and we're looking forward to that for for sure, is that the biggest one of the things that Koreans do very well for like K-pop is that they translate their actual music videos with English, Spanish, Korean, and I think like Arabic for every single music video that they drop. That way, because they know that there's such a massive world out there. And I think it's like, if someone was to go on one of these guys' websites, literally just go on YouTube, listen, go on, I'm gonna help with, I'm gonna give you guys some 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 guideline here. Go on YouTube, go on, on one of those guys that you guys find so awesome that you guys like listening to those rappers, go on their actual music video, like YouTube page, Copy that link, go on google.com and type in YouTube to MP4. And then download that video on your, on, on your uh, computer and then add in the subtitles for that actual video. And then upload it into your, um, like make, you, make your own YouTube account and then upload that video on there. Because trust me, the level of views you're gonna get is gonna be crazy. Plus you'll be able to make money off of that actual video. Because all of those artists that come from like Middle Eastern countries, they don't make subtitles. And so the people that speak English only or French or Spanish or whatever language, they can't really fully enjoy the, the content because they can't understand it. But if, they, if I find a YouTube page that has that exact same song translated, I'll go watch that video first. Then we'll watch, we'll literally watch both of those videos in one video. Cause that's what we used to do for like a lot of the uh, Korean videos that we would watch. Yeah, but one problem doesn't miss when it comes to beats. He does not miss. Angry dog, but that's what I'm saying. If you speak Arabic, that means you understand what they're saying. So if someone translates the actual information to English, then we can read it and then understand what they're saying. So then whenever we're listening to the song, 
we're like, oh, we get it, versus just listening to it and then just kind of like forgetting all of the good part that they've done and just listening to the beat. Because I can listen to a beat all day. I love beats. If you ask Alan, he'll tell you. I'm like, I'm the beat guy. The beats fire, I'm, I'm here. But again, it's like with us doing music reviews, it kind of defeats the purpose of a review if, if that makes sense, if the video we're reviewing, we don't even know what it's saying because we, we just have nothing to pull from. Yeah, Georgie, they don't translate they, the they don't translate the the uh their music. I don't even but have a word for it. But the thing is this, if you have an idea, so there is a okay, I'll give you an example. There's a company that's online that literally will automatically put subtitles in videos for you, but you have to upload it. Angry Don, listen, I won't get, listen, see, we give information to people for free all the time and rarely anybody listen to us, okay? I'm going to help you with to do this. If you make a YouTube channel and you just think about all of the uh, artists that make rap music or uh, any other music in general from your country or any Middle Eastern countries or whatever it is, Make a VO a channel that literally just says whatever it is, and then you just translate all of those videos and just upload them on YouTube. You make the money from all of the views that come from that channel, not the artist. It's 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 really that simple. But no one ever listens to us. We 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 spend so many times telling everyone if you speak Arabic, the market is so big for you to make so much money because all of the artists that you listen to do not translate their music. And because they don't translate their music, they leave thousands of dollars on the table to anyone that can take it that can speak Arabic. Because the way we look at it is this, music is universal. And uh, if, if you want to tap into the world, you gotta be able to have, like, so for us it's this, when we start, when we, the first thing we do, when we go onto a, a song, because we don't watch the videos prior to us watching it, we literally put them on a list or the Discord does, and then we click play. But before we click play, we see that, we looked on the bottom to see whether or not that video has an actual um, subtitles. If it does, we're like, yes. If it doesn't, Nine times out of ten, we literally just delete that off the list because we're like, I'm not gonna waste my time because I won't be able to understand what they're saying, and we wanna be able to actually appreciate the song, you know. Hey, my boy. George says I made a music track. Can you listen to it now? Tell me your opinion. Um, no. no, no, no. What's the name of it, George?
Ali, what's up, fam? How are you? Or is that Ali? I feel like it could be Ali. Dark Knight, what's goody? What's goody? What's goody? What's goody? Good fam. Thank you so much for asking. How are you today? Out of the world. I hold on, Georgie. What is that? Ali, where you at? Alexa, stop. All right, let me see. I, I can't. Okay, so I see George's page. I know that page. All right, I'm trying to see. I can hear this. George, did you make this? Okay, see, okay, I got you. Okay, I, I, it's a vibe, Georgie. It's a vibe. Yo, the mix is on point, bro. Oh. I'm loving the instruments for sure. Wait for the guy. Bro, this would be such a freaking vibe, George. Georgie, let's go, bro. I cannot. But I can definitely see this as like a freaking festival of some sort. Definitely a festival of some sort.
Yo, George, let me find, let me find out you're a DJ out here, bro. Dark Knight. Dark Knight says, did I miss you react to Beat Pella House? Yo, first of all, Dark Knight, you gotta let me know. Were you the one that recommended us to check out the Beat Pella um, House, uh, the hip hop medley? Was that you? <laughs> okay. Just needed a friend. Pavan. Why do I feel like that's in an Indian name? I feel like I'm, I feel like Pavan or Pavin. Pavin? E Pavan. I could be wrong. Let me know. I'm on the call again. Yo, George. Question, bro. Uh, Blade Ring, how you doing, fam? Georgie, why are you streaming that kind of... What? Talk to me. Why are you not streaming, uh, like, this kind of music that you're creating or your whole creating process of making these kind of things on TikTok? Like, that is... You've, you've got it, bro. What are we doing, my guy? What are we doing? Why did you call you, George? Huh? What are we doing, bro? Yes, I'm from India. Let's freaking go! I feel like Casio is, I need to figure out, I need to figure out how to say more than that in, in let's say, how are you? So it's Casio, how do you say that in love though? Casio, okay. Am I in love again? I asked because it's sick. I recommend it as a career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we just we we actually did it yesterday. Unbelievable. That's freaking uh the hip hop medley. Georgie, you're not a loser, my guy. You've got it. You've got it, bro. Uh, if I had half of that talent or for that for creating stuff like that, bro, I would be camera in front of me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would be vibing, bro. You've got it, bro. And no reason. There's no reason as to why you're creating that and not and not doing stuff with it. Like, turn your hobby into something that's gonna be lucrative for yourself, cause you have it, bro. I was gonna say, um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I got fifteen videos to finish editing. That's why I was like, I gotta stop myself from listening to that long. But yeah. I'm out the road again. I just need a little friend. Uh, 
Uh, nobody will listen to a track of music five minutes of music. Uh, no, so it's the you got it's the thought process. So it's usually three minutes of music, which is with bars and stuff like that. But you're not creating that kind of music if you've noticed. You're creating a vibe, and people will sit or hear for vibes. If that makes sense, like. A vibe is way different than just creating songs that people have to listen to the lyrics and stuff like that to get. Because the vibe to me is just the feeling of whatever you're creating. You're creating an entire, uh, you're creating something. And again, the exact same way, like if you go on our YouTube channel, you'll see that we have some videos that have like 76 views and we have some videos that have uh, over a million views. If we only did videos that were gonna go viral or gonna, gonna, make, get, gonna get us like, millions of views we, there would be like 70 percent of the videos that's on the channel would be deleted that would not be on the channel you know what i'm saying so it's like you gotta think about it from the perspective of like do you do it for you and the enjoyment of what you've got to create or you're doing it for others if you're doing it for others you're gonna be in a world of frustration my man Um, uh, kind of babbling in things and hiding it. Uh, there's no such thing as a maybe. It's either you do it or you don't. The longer you delay anything, the longer you delay it. You're delaying your your you be able to do the things that you want to do. Um, so take it. You know, do that as it is. Now, nah, bro, you gotta listen. You gotta dive into it. You got to dive into it because you are way too talented to be, to not be doing, like, there's a lot of people on YouTube, on, on the social media world that are just trash, okay? They have nothing going on, um, and they're doing it, okay? So, you have too much talent to not, to not be there. Hello, I'm in force again. Alexa, play. The trash sells faster. Unfortunately, that's the truth, but don't let that, uh, don't, um, is it mediocreize yourself for that? Does that make sense?
uh, how much the, how much does it usually take for you to work on video only one video? Um, I would say it depends on the video. So if it's a video that has like a lot of really good spots where like I have a lot of time, like I want to create uh, some like a uh, interesting intro, like with like some like flash, 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 flash. It doesn't. It looks one video because the way my brain is wired. Um, I remember pretty much every video that we shoot the day we shot them. So we did like, I want to say like 13 videos in one night. So I remember all of them. So when I'm editing them, I already know how I want them to look. And if there was any parts of them that were, that were like really good for me to edit, then I'll do that. But like some of the videos that we had done were really good. So I'm doing a short version of that video at the exact same time. So that Alan can have them, so he can drop them on our short, uh, on our uh, social media platforms. So I edit all of the videos long form, and then I'll edit them to like the short version, and then send them to Alan. But the good thing is, uh, as far as like our. Uh, like the views that we do because I figured I have to do all of it in one sitting the editing process is easy it's just the it's really the thumbnail part that takes a lot longer because you're doing a new thumbnail for everybody so that's when we outsource that to somebody else to do thumbnails that way we can just focus on just creating So the, um, the, sh the videos that we have, so it's usually, the, I have a, pretty much a format. Like I know I'm gonna be adding the subscribe button in there at some point. I know I'm gonna be getting the, and the outro in there. Um, if we have a video where we have no mess ups, where we're not cussing, <laughs> then it's, a easy, it's an easy edit. Um, but like, cause all the videos, it's kinda like there's a blueprint. There's a beginning, middle, and end. That's kinda what we follow. Season two, episode four, five, six. <laughs> the thing is this, because we don't have anyone in the studio right now to do that, like to do that part. Um, if I if I allow myself to cuss, then that's essentially gonna give me. <laughs> yeah, that's Alan. Can I just get, oh my Jesus, bro. I might end up ending my editing section because my uh, it seems like my Photoshop just crashed.
get this open, go. Clavin, you're... What's up, buddy? Glad you're trying to edit, taking some time. <clears throat> kind of feeling that computer is taking me from real life. It just depends on what you're doing, I guess. Yo, and the funny thing is, me and Al were talking about about that today. Cause, uh, cause, cause cause we were thinking about it about getting hit. Look at that sh look at that horse cramp. Yeah, we got to go. Alexa, stop.
So, I'm about to shut down this countdown of this today. I don't know why my back microphone is so trash right now. Anyhow, we are going to go get a session in here. I will, I'm a, where is this thing at? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go, um, I'm gonna end this stream. I will start it whenever I get to the gym because my gym's over here. Uh, I will see you guys then because this is annoying me. I'm gonna shut that down. So I can do my thing. Oh, I'll see you guys later. Well, soon. We'll see you soon.